All right, here are my orange powder isopods I just got from Repticon. It's supposed to be, I believe, 10 or 15 of them here. And I'm just gonna sit them in this slightly larger enclosure so they can procreate a little bit more. And then I'm gonna get a much larger one. But for now, this is gonna be good so they can find each other quickly. And here we go, let me use my trusty uh, spoon. This is my isopod handling spoon. That's how I, <laughs> that's how I handle my isopod. Anyway, just throwing these leaves, and then just I'm gonna just grab them. Oh, okay, big piece of sphagnum moss. Just trying to be gentle. Maybe it's not going out so well, but it's much better for me than to just dump them in there. All right, last bit is okay. There's nothing left here, but soil. So, fix that. Can I clean this up a little bit? There's a piece of uh, cork bark in here that I put for them. As you can see, they're already climbing all around. Oh, there you go, there's one. Trying to clean this a little more. Okay, the routine is already um, uh, humid, wet, and there's a lot of sphagnum moss, soil, and other uh, bark, little pieces of uh, forest bark, or is it it's called um, bark and moss mixture. Well, either way, it's gonna help them to have some uh, matter in there. And just to get them even a little better, I'm gonna drop a little bit of carrot. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna try to push it underneath so it doesn't dry out so quick. Maybe surrounded by the moss. And there you go. Um, I should be adding some calcium later just to help them, uh, you know, get a. Uh, a good supply of calcium going so they reproduce faster and that's it orange powder ice spots